Hello everyone, welcome back. I have here a Lynx 12 uh, AK-47 shotgun and it is loaded with a Pro Mag 20 round drum uh, and this is a pretty awesome combination. Normally when I shoot this sh shotgun, you know, I use these 10 round mags. Okay. Um, the, the, the 20 round drum makes the gun very heavy, uh, but it is awesome to have. It is an awesome novelty and, and the novelty in this is that Basically, the um, this closely resembles the street sweeper. Okay, the street sweeper was basically a very similar, you know, uh, uh, drum-fed uh, shotgun, and the ATF declared that a destructive device. Okay, uh, and the and, and the way they were able to declare the street sweeper a destructive device is because uh, all 12 gauges are basically above 50 caliber, right? A a, uh, a 12 gauge is a 72, 73 caliber. Um, so, so the rules say that anything above 50 caliber is a destructive device and what they've done, what the ATF has done is they've put in an exception uh, for, 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 for shotguns, okay? So in the case of the street sweeper, all they had to do was go back and say, you know what, that exception doesn't apply to the street sweeper. So it's that easy uh, for them to ban pretty much any semi-automatic uh, shotgun. So it is for that reason that you guys need to get out there and buy as many of these Lynx 12s. You know, if you get yourself on any Sega 12s, any Vepra 12s, get them. Because basically, you know, it, it, the ATF can ban them at a whim. Um, the Lynx 12, I've got about 3,000 rounds on this gun. It is a great gun. I just finished putting 60 rounds down range. Uh, it's, it's very reliable as long as you do your job. you got to basically make sure that when you're shooting it, you're leaning into the gun. Okay? Uh, if you don't lean into the gun, you can have problems because the gun may not cycle. But it will cycle with birdshot reliably if you're leaning into the gun and shooting it properly. Now with this 20 round drum, obviously this becomes very heavy. So, so it's not practical uh, for any other purpose other than the novelty of having something that the ATF really doesn't want you to have, okay? So let's have some fun. We're gonna dump these 20 rounds into that, uh, into that stump right there. Drum is nice and removable, and you put these stick in that the stick mags in pretty easy. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome gun. Um, I have two of these. Okay, I bought the first one. I put 3,000 rounds on it. As soon as I saw it was reliable, immediately went out and bought the second one. Um, at some point, I want to get a spare bolt for one of these things. Um, I think it's hot pretty fast though. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of times, like I shoot lots of lots of shotgun so what i do is a lot of times uh, uh when i have you know when, when i'm over with some friends and family um well, you know i'll have two of these and uh, everybody will get a magazine and then basically i'll shoot four or five magazines through each one of these uh um, um each one of these links 12s and then after four or five magazines i'll rotate them to give the gun a chance to cool down uh but this is absolutely like i have a vi another video where i basically give the my five top guns that you have to have uh, for shit hit the fan. Uh, and I say in that video that you have to have two of them. So I say you gotta have two AR-15s, you gotta have two AK-47s, you gotta have two Glocks, you gotta have two Ruger 1022s, and you gotta have two of these Lynx 12s. I mean, these guns are that awesome. Um, you know, uh, you know it's, it's just a great gun. Um, and they've, they've actually improved the bolt in the Lynx 12 over the Sega 12. And I did a separate video on that. You guys can search that. Uh, and you know, you'll, you'll find it. Um, but uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you guys like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, please post them. Uh, and if you're not a member of my channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.